Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this farmhouse style wood and galvanized light fitting. First of all, I want to say thank you to one of my viewers named Val, who very, very kindly brought over these two quilting hoops for me after I came up with the idea for this light fitting and then kind of despaired at how expensive quilting hoops are over here. So she moved over to New Zealand, brought these with her and posted them to me from Auckland. So thank you so much Val for making this light fitting possible. So the first thing I did was take the quilting hoops apart and stain them but I didn't buy a stain or anything I just wanted to use what I had and what I had on hand was acrylic paint. I just watered it down and then brushed it onto the bare wood and let it dry. The next step was to attach these galvanized pieces of metal. They're called soakers and I found them in the hardware store in the building supply section. I'm not sure what they are actually used for but when I saw them I knew they were perfect for this project and they were only $1.15 each. They come in different lengths and they also have copper ones if that is more of the look that you want, although the copper ones are more expensive. To attach the soakers to the ring, I put the inside ring of the quilting hoop down and then as you can see I stuck a crafting glue dot onto each soaker and just stuck it to the sides of the ring. The glue dots don't actually have to take the weight, it's the lip at the top of each soaker that's going to take the weight. This is upside down, that's going to become the top. So I just stuck the soakers on opposite each other, turned the ring 45 degrees, repeated that and then filled in the gaps. They're probably not perfectly spaced, but it doesn't really matter. When all of the soakers were stuck on, then I slid the outer ring over them and tightened the wing nut. And I turned it upside down over the other inner ring and then put the outer ring over that and screwed it together with the wing nut. So the quilting hoops are holding onto the soakers and that little lip of the soakers at the top is taking the weight. I was really pleased with how this came out, the kind of barrel look of it, it just has a kind of farmhouse feel that I like. And then it sat on my dining room table for about a week or more because I couldn't think of how to hang it from the actual light fixture. Eventually when I was wandering around the garage I found this old, I guess it's a lampshade frame that I had and I decided to use that. So I took my bolt cutters and cut the top ring off. I went around all of them cutting but I guess my bolt cutters are a bit blunt so I had to go over them with my pliers with the wire cutting part of my pliers and finish off the job. Once that was done, I took my pliers and bent each of these spokes outwards. Unfortunately, one of them did break off in the process, but it still works the way I had planned and you don't really notice the missing one. Although, in hindsight, I should have actually hot glued it on just for appearance's sake. It was time to test out my theory and see if this would work. I had actually measured 
the length of the spokes and it worked exactly as I imagined. I just kind of slid it in and it took the weight of the light fitting. So I removed the old light fitting and installed the new one. I just removed the bulb and the collar, slid it on, put the collar back and put the bulb back in. And this is how it looks with the light on. I love the shadows that it casts on the ceiling. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made this light fitting. It's so fun to come up with an idea and then see it come to fruition. And this turned out pretty much exactly as I imagined. You can see the gap there where that missing spoke is. I might actually paint a wooden skewer the same color and hot glue it on just so that it fills the gap, but it doesn't really bother me. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.